you hear a lot of chit chatter about comparison of Justin Fields to Lamar Jackson. You could have had that discussion when Fields was first drafted. But the fact of the matter is, is Lamar Jackson is playing out of his mind football. The man got an MVP in the second year, whereas Justin Fields got three wins in his second year. Lamar was developed by that Ravens coaching staff to get to the point where he is at now, where he is just great in the passing game, very efficient, also great with his legs and super consistent throughout the entire game. You know, once that guy turns it on, he does not turn it off. You could expect them to score on you in the second quarter, in the third quarter, and in the fourth quarter. They just keep coming at you. With Justin Fields, I feel like, yeah, that skill set is pretty similar and maybe you could have gotten to a point like they are now. However, you you didn't. You know, if you want to have the conversation of, well, we failed Justin Fields, we can. But, I mean, uh, essentially we didn't develop him the right way. It's now year three. We got one more year till we need to pay him. And what do you think the offense is going to kind of look like if we keep Justin Fields? You know how I feel about Lamar Jackson. I just feel like he's the most polished, perfect version of what Justin Fields could have been, I suppose. And then even then, I just don't think that they are a similar necessarily like style of quarterback. Like you can say the traits are similar, right? They're both fast. They're both like athletic and they both have a good arm. And that's kind of where to me the comparisons end because if you're just looking at physical skill set, like there's a lot of players that match up physically. Adam Shaheen had the same measurables as Gronkowski. I never really look at physically the measurable stuff. It's nice, but it, it doesn't really kind of match up to what a player is otherwise the way they're different man is like just on the visual of watching Lamar Jackson I never watch him and think man this guy's about to make a critical mistake that'll lose his team the game not that I watch fields and like expect it but I don't ever have like a huge amount of confidence in Justin Fields whenever I see the ball leave his hands and before the camera gets to where it's going you know I'm just waiting for the the angle and <laughs> to see where he's throwing it because my 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 heart kind of like my butt puckers my heart kind of gets skips a beat for a second and I never ever had that feeling with Lamar Jackson um he's definitely a superior thrower I think he also is like a better timing thrower and a lot of this could be attributed to just like a better offensive coordinator and a better offensive system but I don't I don't necessarily agree with that because I feel like Lamar Jackson is a little bit more flexible now and maybe that's because of the way he was developed but like I I don't imagine Lamar Jackson losing his offensive coordinator next year, getting a new offensive coordinator and all of a sudden just completely regressing or taking a step back because of his coordinator. He's entered that status of like elite quarterback that knows what he's doing, knows what he's good at and knows what's going on. I just don't see the same player. I can't, maybe Justin Fields gets there one day, but I feel like he's much of a raw physical specimen, whereas opposed to Lamar Jackson's a mentally polished quarterback. He plays the quarterback position and happens to be athletic, whereas Justin Fields is a athletic person, pretty good at quarterback, but he's really just forcing the issue of trying to be a good, you know, quarterback. And that could be a lot of the development, right? And this is what we've been frustrated with Luke Getzey with for so long that he's just like, hey, man, I have a system. You have to fix your mechanics, do this, do that, do the other. And then eventually, maybe one day you'll you'll become a real quarterback the way I, I expect you to, right? Follow my master formula which never really made sense to me with luke getsy aaron Rodgers, brett Favre, and jordan love have some of the worst mechanics like in the in the league right like jump throws where they leave both feet and they kind of do a sidearm sling but there they call it arm talent but when justin fields is playing off instinct it was his terrible mechanics and we got to fix them you know from the quarterback position you are very capable of elevating everybody around you. That offense isn't necessarily stacked. It's it's a lot on Lamar's shoulders, and he's leading it. You know, me and you have talked about what is the strength of the Ravens? It's the defense. That's where it starts. On the offense, it's pretty much Lamar carrying the ship, right? Uh, I don't think you have anything close to that with Justin Fields. I think the conversation seems to be that, hey, everything almost needs to be perfect around him for him to be able to produce and produce at a high level. You know, Lamar got it quick. He got it quick, like, like you know, second-year MVP. Now he's earned his second MVP. My only knock on Lamar was the way he handled his contract situation. I felt like he held that team a little bit hostage for the money. However, looking at it now from the point where we're at now, he's worth every penny. 
Like, so I, I get his point of view. You know, I would, I didn't agree with it at the time, but I get it. He is that good. When I say you have the ability to elevate others from the quarterback position, um, when Aaron Rodgers won his Super Bowl, his head coach was Mike McCarthy. People were shocked that Mike McCarthy did not get fired from Dallas. I've heard the term uh, worst coach to win a Super Bowl tied to his name. Well, when he won that Super Bowl, Aaron Rodgers kind of carried that team. They were the most, he was the most sacked quarterback that year. They did not have a good offensive line. Do you know who their offensive coordinator was? You told me this. It was Joe Philbin. Yeah. Joe Philbin. Yep. He went off to coach in Miami. He was no good. So you're telling me Rodgers had a terrible line, a terrible offensive coordinator, the worst head coach to ever win a Super Bowl, and he was still able to get it done? Yeah, that's the capability of a quarterback. When you have one of those elite guys, you could sit there and carry even bad situations. Now, you know, being in Chicago, the conversation usually was, well, the Packers didn't do Rodgers right. They should have won way more than one Super Bowl with that kind of quarterback on their team. And yeah, that's because you can't get over the hump every single time when you don't have any help around you, when they're not drafting offensive talent in the first round to help you, when the coaches aren't necessarily great. We saw what Nathaniel Hackett went off to be. With Lamar, you know, I know the Ravens have a great coaching staff. I just don't feel like that with Lamar. I feel like, man, he is, he's like on that Aaron Rodgers level. Like you said, he's gotten to that elite level where he is capable of carrying an offense. And that's why he's worth that contract and worth that money. Justin Fields, I just don't see it. I mean, we haven't seen it. Lamar Jackson doesn't have a single thousand yard receiver this year. Lost his superstar tight end. The backup came in and had a great year. Lost three running backs this year, right? And if you put DJ Moore within Baltimore, he's the greatest receiver that Lamar Jackson's ever played with, and it's not even close. He's working with a 31 year old, kind of worn out Odell Beckham Jr., a young Zay Flowers a backup tight end in Isaiah Likely, and I honestly am not sure who his current running back is because I would say it's Gus Edwards, but I think Gus Edwards is hurt. So, And he's in the AFC Championship game. This isn't like, oh, and they do pretty well. Like Lamar Jackson, we talk about how Fields needs more help, needs more help, needs a better coordinator, needs more help. Lamar Jackson has a good coordinator for sure, but it it took years to beg the rape to get him enough help to put him on this level, and it's MVP part two plus a Super Bowl, like a possible Super Bowl berth. He, he's playing on the team that in all reality should beat Kansas City, right? Because Mahomes is doing the same thing with uh, – Lamar is arguably, right? Having rookie wide receiver, an old tight end veteran, and they're both in the AFC Championship game. It's kind of frustrating when you watch current state of football – and who's left. And the only example is San Francisco that copies the model of what people want for Justin Fields and what want, want the Bears to be doing, right? Because the teams that are left is Patrick Mahomes with a super subpar offensive unit, Lamar Jackson with a super subpar offensive unit. You got San Francisco and then Detroit. And then Detroit has plenty of weapons, but Jared Goff and I don't think anybody's really saying Jared Goff's the reason they're there. So, um, yeah, it's just I, – I've gotten to a point where I don't like the comparison, and uh, I'd like to just see the Bears, like, go for greatness. And if you crash and burn doing it, I can live with it at this point. Um, I'm cool with any option, really, at this point. I think we've discussed that verba- – like, just ad nauseum, like, I'm okay with Justin Fields. I'm okay with Caleb Williams. Frankly, I'm okay with Drake May, and it's all fine. All of it's good. But I just, I'm scared of like the Bears just kind of chasing mediocrity because that's what I've known. So.